Belgian-born designer Olivier Tayskins launched his first collection in 1997 after abandoning his studies at the famed La Cambre School of Visual Arts in Brussels. When I think of Olivier, I think of these amazing full-length gowns that are sort of almost like a sergeant painting. You know, that kind of um, uh, wasted, but then with this amazing drama from the waist down. When a designer starts, they're sort of trying, they're experimenting a lot, and I think he never lost that experimentation. He really makes fashion very poetic and interesting, not so hardcore business like sometimes it can be. I think with Olivier what's so interesting is that design is so much part of his process and he is one to sit down and literally draw out every single silhouette hundreds of times until he gets it right. And he always has a very clear picture of the silhouette that he's looking for and how he wants that woman to look. In 2002, Tayskins took over at the House of Rochas, a dusty maison in need of a fresh, youthful eye, and his collections were generally received with acclaim. However, in 2006, Procter & Gamble closed the house. Tayskins quickly found a new home at another venerable maison, Nina Ricci, but suffered a similar fate as that house in 2009. You know, it's always difficult to be at the right house at the right time with the right team, proposing the right uh, fashion. Sometimes it's the perfect fit, sometimes it isn't. After his experiences at Rochas and Nina Ricci, the fashion community wondered what the shy young designer's next move would be and whether he would stay in fashion. I'm born with a fashion gene, I think, so I will always do what I'm doing. I mean, it's really something that comes fluently from me, so it will always be that. And um, yes, and you always try to look inside yourself something useful to create, something that uh, makes us evolving. And it doesn't have to be something that comes every three or six months, it can be something that comes later. But we're all, always looking after that special thing. In our times, he's one of the greats, like he really has it. It's not a nuance of styling, it's not a freak of history, it's not about connecting with the times or, or um, you know, sort of a good use of opportunities. He's just got it. And I really hope that, you know, he finds a place where he can do what he does again. I'm very happy and comfortable and uh, I'm very excited by anything where I feel that I'm going to find the highest potential for my expression and for to build something. So whatever where I am. <laughs>